Okay, welcome back. This is Chris again. In this video, we are going to cover how to make an award from scratch, beginning to end. We're going to choose a design. We're going to choose a, uh, a shape. We're going to choose a background. We're going to choose the text that we place. And, of course, uh, if you want to add a photo, we're going to show you that as well. Obviously, at this point, you should know where your files are the basic tools for using photo FX software and uh, in, a in a prior video we also covered using pre-made templates. The pre-made templates are going to limit you at first to the top six or eight styles or shapes of crystal. When making crystal from scratch you can utilize every single shape and size. I, uh, I don't know what the exact count is but we have 70, 80 different shapes and sizes of crystal Soon you're going to see that we have 40, 50 backgrounds and you start combining the combinations and it's a very large amount of styles and, and types that you can do. Um, to get going, you have your photo FX software open and once again, we're going to create a project. Open up the file and I'm going to go for this particular session, I'm going to go to the crystal templates. There's my crystal templates. You're going to find that some pieces are more suitable for awards than others when you offer your clients a selection they'll choose others more commonly for this particular session we could do maybe something a little different because we've been basically working with rectangles um, heart-shaped award I don't know uh, Pentagon okay this is a, a popular the popular piece. So we're going to open up the Pentagon sheet. Okay, so here we have the shape of our award. And um, to keep it simple, we're going to pick the shape, we're going to pick the background, and what do you want to put on it? Okay. Similarly to working with the photo, just going to click down here. Remember this little icon down here? We're going to add a background. We're going to click it once, and once again it's asking us, where is this picture or image or background? Okay. Um, in our particular case, once you've installed the software, that image lies in a folder that we've already installed. And that folder is in the CASI QLT folder, if you set it up the way we suggest. And the folder is called Award Backgrounds. If you don't see it here, it's here for me because I've been using this earlier, so it's there. If you can't find it, click Browse for Folder and go to your folder where you installed the software and find your award background folder. And what we've done here, and I'm going to go slowly through some of these pieces, is we've built a pretty large array of backgrounds that are suitable for all different shapes and sizes, covering all different tastes from corporate to fun to organization-wise for informal clubs and organizations, politics I guess as well. There's an assortment. Some you're going to see have the wording in there. We have excellence and such and some of them do not. In this particular case I'm going to do ones that do not have any wording in it. We'll do a couple of examples in this, in this scenario. For this particular pentagon, probably a nicer background would be this blue one. There you go. You're going to notice that the 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 shape, the the overall size of the background is larger than the piece itself. So we could bring in more of the outer edges, which are on the darker side, if we want to bring it in more a little bit, so you can get more of that in there. Okay. So here we have a nice background for an award. Moving on, the next thing is is that let's do it just for text for now. So we'll add some text, click the text button, go to add edit text, and as always, it's usually good to start with a year. So we're going to do that. I'm going to pick a font that's going to work well. Usually I use the Bernard here. It's included on my Windows computer. So work with a darker background, you probably want a lighter texture. Um, normally we've been doing white, but you know, there are other options here. There are gradients. 
there is a series of gradients. Some of some are very nice, and obviously you want to complement the piece that you're doing. Here's a here's a light blue with the white. That looks kind of nice as a as a piece. You got 2010. award and we're going to call this award we'll add another text box employee of the year gotta get that E in there once again we're going to choose a font this is going to be entering new text and in this one case we'll just go all white lastly and you can add more and more text depending on your clients needs I guess we need a name in here add text okay and uh, We'll go with Susan Partridge. And for her name, we'll go with a little script here. And I'm going to fill it with a different texture, just so you can see there's also textures involved here that, that are very nice. Uh, with this particular one, maybe the this cloud background would look very nice on here going to update, remember not end, we're going to update the text. Hit apply and there we have Susan Partridge. Okay, this is a very simple, I chose a shape, I added a background, I added text, and that's it, ready to go. Uh, probably uh, there'll be more in here in appreciation of, you know, great leadership of blah, 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 whatever the text might be. But that's that. This, this award is ready to be printed. Okay. Now, some awards your customers are going to want a photo so let me show you how you do that let's do a different one let's do a project I'm gonna click file all right going through our crystal templates again I'm gonna use this rectangle one here because I wanted to use a background that you'll see in here I'm going to now add the background we picked the shape now we're going to add the background if you'll notice this, let's take this one here for instance, this background here. You see how it has this leaf up and down the side? Here's an example of it on the bottom. These have been hit, put here strategically so that you could do more creative texting um, on the piece. And I'm going to go through a couple of examples of what I mean. Here, here you see the dark band at the bottom. You see how big this is? The reason why it is so big is so that this will practically fit on most crystal pieces, no matter what the size is of it. So here we have this piece that's going to fit here. And now, in the event that I wanted to do the design, I might want to add text. Let me get my text here. I'll just use the word award. Make it white, make it big, enter it, and I'll make it a little bit bigger just so you can see. This makes a good area down here, the offset colors, the complementary colors, so you can put um, leadership, teamwork, whatever you want down here, and then the actual text picturing of the award can come up here. That being said, I'm going to take this out for a second, the award, control X will cut it out, and um, I'm going to change this background, and I'm going to add a different version. Let's go with one up and down the side. All right. See how big this is? I can, I can get as much of this yellow paper border in there as I need. Let's say I just want a little band. I'm going to move it to the left for decorative purposes. Let's say I'm going to, I'm going to actually use text there. Okay, so I'm going to move it out a little bit so I can get some text in there. I'm going to paste back in that award logo. And um, what I need to do here is I just need to, to rotate that. Oops, let's see, use the text transform button. Ah, okay, yeah. 
when you're rotating text, you have to be in text. Excuse me. See that text? And it's up here we transform. When you're rotating an object, you can be in adjust and transform. But when it's text, it's here. So transform. We're going to rotate. Let's go 90 degrees. Okay. The white doesn't really show up here, so we can adjust this text. Click text again. Update the selected text as we do here, down here. And um, let's go with this blue here. And apply. Okay. So here we have the award. Obviously, um, for design purposes, you probably wouldn't choose uh, something so long, a longer stretch of text-ready area for such a small word. If this was excellence, this might be perfect. Teamwork, that sort of stuff. Award might be better off as one across here because if it's width. But basically, this is the example of some of the various uses of these templates. Going through the templates and just showing you some more flexibility. Very popular is the dog template or the pet template. This has the various. This this will become a probably a pretty pretty often used um, template. The wood grain. Um, we also have this again in various designs where we have the pattern going up and down the side. Um, as a matter of fact, why don't we do a a pet award here? Because that'll be a good example of adding a picture and all of that. Okay, so let me get that to where I want in terms of size. Remember, because of the size of this background image, I can put this on the biggest shape, like the S-shaped crystal, or the smallest, like a little round sunflower. Okay, so here we have, here we have um, our background. Now we're going to add our text. Dusty's back in town. White. Let's go with uh, nice font. We got Dusty. Make a little bit bigger. I'm going to really make this more of a recognition piece for Dusty as opposed to an award. I'm going to get a. We now we need to put Dusty's picture in here. So going back to a previous video, what we learned is we need to put a holder, a picture holder, in here. So to, to do that, we're going to, and I usually toggle between photo and project to refresh it. Then I hit file. And I'm going to go find a picture holder that's going to be suitable for this award of what I want Dusty to be. It could be an arch, obviously. It could be a heart, oval, square, whatever. Any of these shapes that you see here could be a frame for Dusty. Okay? In this particular case, Let's go with the arch. It's over here somewhere. By the way, there are a lot of templates. If you find that there are a bunch that you're just not going to use and never going to use, remove them from your working directory. It'll obviously speed you up in working your way through the images when you're trying to be productive. So I'm going to copy this. I'll go back to my wood plaque and we'll hit paste. Now, this is too big for this, right? No problem. Simply going to adjust it. I hit transform. Make it smaller to fit where we think looks best. Eh, maybe a little bit bigger. You know what? This is a dusty plaque, so let's give him let's give him a spotlight. That'll look nice. There you go. So Dusty's ready for the limelight. So we've got his little doghouse. <laughs> Actually, yeah, it looks like a doghouse. And we're simply going to click that area, and we're going to go find Dusty. Where is Dusty? Is he in a file, video, scanner, digital camera? I take the liberty of putting Dusty in a folder, in our project photo folder. And Well, I thought I just had Dusty in here, but we're going to put Dusty and Rusty in here. No problem. And you can be creative. If all you have is a split picture, let's put Dusty in instead of... We're going to leave Rusty out on this one. So I'm just expanding it. 
so I basically have just Dusty in there. We'll get Rusty on another one. Okay, so there's Dusty. He's ready to go. This could use a little bit of a color adjusting. I can see this is a little bit pale, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to click put the focus on on Dusty. I'm going to go to adjust the color and hit the lighting. Remember what I said earlier. Sometimes you can go too much. We can see his fur here. If I go on the first one, I would have blacken out everything. I don't want to do that. I want to hit this, the, the, the fifth one, which is going to give me a nice, more, a nice little bite and contrast, yet still I have the detail. For a little further effect, you can add a shadow to any element. Here's Dusty. Go to Text, Add Shadow. The shadows really have a lot to do with really making a, a very good-looking award. Even the picture holder can have a shadow. Go to decorate. When you're putting a shadow around text, you want to be in the text button and add the shadow. When you're putting a shadow around an object, you want to be in the decorate. Okay? And hit shadow here. I'm going to add a shadow. That's a bit much. Okay. If you want to make it look more 3D. Probably a little bit too much so you can't see it as well. There you go. So that looks like it's a 3D piece, dusty, and it looks like his picture is kind of raised off the surface of the wood black. And this would make a nice piece. So basically what we've shown here is the flexibility that we have in changing picture holders, changing backgrounds, and utilizing sizes. Let's do one more. I'm going to go create a new project. And as you know, at the bottom, all of my projects are down here, the ones that I've worked on. When you save these, once you print it out, this, this is really important to cover, is um, like take this employee of the year plaque. I'm going, to, I'm going to add a picture holder in here, and I'll show you why in a second. Actually, we'll work with, uh, we'll work with Dusty. You want to save Dusty, and say you like this design and you want to save it for future orders. What you want to do is, you can hit File, and we're going to Save As. And in your Save As Type Options, look for TPX. TPX is how you want to save it. The name of, its, of this current piece here is CC888-4. You don't want to save it as that, because you're just going to overwrite a template. So we're going to create something new here, and we'll call this dog plaque. Dog plate plaque. Okay. And we'll save it. Um, I'll keep it in my project photos folder, but you probably, if you're going to create your own designs and you're going to save your own designs, you probably want to create a new folder called my my designs. So why don't I do that actually right now? My designs. And I'm going to keep that in my project folder. And I'm going to save the dog plate there. What does this do for us? I'm going to close Dusty right now. I'm going to show you what this does for us. I'm going to go to I'm going to open the dog plate. This is the one we just saved. There it is. There's the one we made. Dusty with a picture. But now you want to use this for another order. Well, all you got to do is take this, click Dusty, and replace him with Rusty. Okay. going to adjust his color. That's good. And, of course, we're going to edit the text. Edit, and now we have Rusty. Okay. Oops. Well, here's where, here we go again. I did, instead of hitting update the selected text, I entered new text. So I put in Rusty by all brand new. So I'm going to delete Rusty. I'm going to make sure I select update the selected text. Now I got Rusty. I gotta select Dusty. I gotta change it to Rusty. There you go. So now Rusty's got a plaque. This is a 
this is going to be a common utilization of the of the feature rich package here's the beginning employee of the year Susan Partridge you can save this take out the name you can save any element and then you can modify it as you move along create an immense library the combinations are I don't know what 70 times 80 times 500 graphics I mean it's just outrageous the amount of stuff you could do plus your own original designs the possibilities are seemingly limitless so getting back to what I wanted to do before which was to review this let's start a new one we're going to go to project we're going to go to file because we want to find the shape of the award that we want to make okay let's do diamond what background do we want for the diamond okay we don't want a photo we want a background so I'm going to go to award backgrounds we're going to add a background well you got the various different shapes and sizes here's a good thing to know some of these backgrounds have designs on them if you remember in previous videos these were pre-done I could take this excellence and lay this in here all of the elements that went into making the pre-designs for you to make quick awards exist here by themselves. There's nothing that we made in earlier pieces that you could not start from scratch, make from scratch. So here you see it. We're going to add a picture holder. Create a new project for the picture holder. That's just the way I like to work. I always create a new project for it just to keep it simple. open up the, the diamond Oops. do that one Maybe copy okay I'm gonna paste that in here a little bit bigger than what we need we're gonna simply adjust it transform bring it down to the size we want Now we got our picture holder. We're going to add a photo. Go back to project photos. I realize I'm kind of going quick, but some of most of this is review. So I'm taking the liberty of moving along. Picture of dad with his dogs. Okay. And then of course lastly, you want to edit add your text. And that's as simple as that. Pick the shape of the crystal you want. Choose the background. Do you want a photo in it? Well, then choose the shape of the photo that you want to put in. Add your text. Do you think this is something you're going to use again? All right. Then save it. File. Save as a TPX file. And you probably should get into that habit of doing that because you want to save. You might not want to save it as... Uh, you might want to save it as your customer's name, you, the, the company that you got the order from. This way you'll always have their designs on file. And that's going to cover the basics of starting from scratch now of creating an award. In the next video, we're going to get into more features, which is adding a lot more stuff to the top. Here we're working with backgrounds. Next video, we're going to work with backgrounds and additional elements that you can place on top of your awards. And that concludes this portion of the video, and we'll see you down the road.